friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, my name is Garrett. And I'm Melissa. And we are the Leffersons, and today we are coming back with a sit-down video, and it's still a little Christmassy <laughs> around here. Uh, well, you actually have never seen our Christmas background yeah. because we have not filmed a video in a very long time. I think we've said that the last few times we've filmed videos because they've been so few and far between. And we're really <laughs> trying to get back into like the sit-down because this is actually a lot of fun. And this is where it we is. get to uh, talk to you guys and y'all yeah. get to talk to us. And so today mm -hmm. is a kind of a haul, like Alyssa was trying to explain it to me because <laughs> I'm, so, I'm coming in and I'm like, what are we doing? And she's like, <laughs> of course, so. Garrett, Garrett never knows what we're doing. <laughs> so it's like, like some stuff I got. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I would say it's kind of small shoppy okay. because they are from small shops. Um, but they're Disney pins. I actually ordered some Disney pins from a Facebook group. And then we also, I guess I should say I, <laughs> not we, nope. I also put in a t-shirt order to a company that I've been wanting to purchase <laughs> shirts from, from a bear for a very long time. Let's, I've been following her on Instagram for okay, a very long time. Okay. So, so what's, what's her, let's start with that. Okay. Yes. So. Darling Dream Co. Okay. is an Instagram page and she has very, very cute Disney inspired shirts, apparel, even like kids wear, hats, bags. So, I feel like she's kind of got like accessories and stuff too. So was this like a Black Friday dealio? Yes. Because I remember you were like, honey, <laughs> I know I'm going to, I'm going to buy some shirts. And I'm like, okay, what, what shirts are they? And she's like, I don't know. It's a <laughs> mystery t-shirt. I'm like, okay. Is, Y'all know I love a good mystery, right? So she does these sales all the time. Actually, she's doing another one tomorrow, which okay. by the time you watch this, it will have already passed. But basically all the Christmas shirts that she has left, she's selling tomorrow, they're $10 a piece. So these mystery shirts are $10 a piece. And we'll leave her information down below. I'll leave her Instagram one. down below. This is not like sponsored or anything. Nope. But I also did order a few shirts like that she had discounts on Christmas shirts and stuff like that. So I ordered a few things and I spent a little bit more, but they were on sale. And I'll show you the first one because it's a Christmas shirt. Okay, here, I'll, I'll hold them and then you can you can tour them. <laughs> it's this really pretty green. I'm not really sure. Is it like a sage green? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure of the shade, but it's a green. It says, it says once upon a Christmas and it's got like a snowy Main Street vibe. So it's obviously supposed to kind of mimic Main Street, either Disneyland or Walt Disney World, you know, Magic, yeah. Kingdom, Ma Magic Kingdom's Main Street. So I thought it was super cute. And I'm kind of into green right now. So I decided to go for it. I'm in, I'm in my green era. And not this shade of green. I don't <laughs> like this, no. but I'm wearing it because it's my, if you want to hit, you know, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas shirt with small world hippopotamus. This is from Magic Plus. Yep. Don't, she's not currently open, but so there's that. Now the other shirt, this is the other one that I ordered and like I knew what I was getting. Specifically. the yeah. Okay. So that other one was not a mystery shirt. Yeah. This one was also not a mystery. Okay. She has like a princess kind of series and I thought this one was super cute. And again, the princess shirts were also on sale. So this one just says, I've got a dream. i got a dream. I got a dream. What I like about the colors of at least these shirts is it's that kind of um, pastel yeah. kind of like chill i figured these color. would be really well that's obviously christmas but this is like super like springy which would be perfect for a flower and garden or whatever just like spring in the parks and obviously i love rapunzel and i love this scene and something else to note is that her shirts are the comfort colors oh. which if you know you know like i really like this brand do of these, shirt do these colors like a little bit green? higher quality no they're okay. they're they're good quality okay. so there's that okay so, so then I also ordered three mystery. I just went to town. I ordered three mystery shirts. Because they were 10 bucks a piece, right? 10 and bucks how a much piece. are the shirts like regularly? Like whenever you like. 30, love. 35. Like if they're not on sale. Yeah, they're expensive. I mean, but they're, they're quality. They're nice quality in many yeah. ways. So the mystery, the whole thing of it is it's kind of like a <laughs> first, just... it's a first come, first serve. Oh. So I had to like order very quickly. I thought I think you were going to say. I was also hey, in like a pre sale. It's all the thing this. with the mystery is you don't know what you're getting. I'm like, that's what mystery Well, right. Are. But also she says like sometimes based on limited quality, like quant if there's limited quantity, you mm -hmm. might get two of the same shirt. So sometimes really? it's like you're risking, right? It's a little bit of a risk, but. I got three unique shirts. Okay. Um, I'll start with the one that is probably my least favorite. Okay. 
I wouldn't even say I dislike it, but it's probably my least favorite. I like the color. Okay. It's a cool like charcoal gray. Okay. Um, and it says the most magical vacation on earth. It's got the castle, it's got the Mickey balloon. It has some little like Disney decals. Now why, now, why is this not your vibe? I, I absolutely love the look of the shirt. Okay. I don't love the wording of the shirt. Okay. Even if it said the most magical place on earth, I would have been down for it. 100%. I think it says the most magical vacation on earth, which is hard for us because we go a lot. <laughs> we so, go for work. <laughs> like, I feel like this is like a shirt that someone would buy that like is going like for a once in a lifetime I, shirt. I feel like or this a is once gonna, in a lifetime trip. You know this I mean? is going to be a good shirt to have in your pocket as a gift. No, no, I'm go. I'm going to wear it. Oh, I you're going decided... <laughs> to. Oh, okay. Never mind. I already decided I'm going to wear it because okay. I feel like it would be like a just a like a very casual, relaxing, like travel shirt. Like, yeah. I feel like that's fine. Most magical vacation on earth. Here we go. We're flying to Disney. You should We're wear it. it. You should wear it like to Hawaii just to be ironic. Just to really confuse it. But maybe people think I'm going to Walani. <sighs> Which we did. Which we did. Go check out those vlogs. We did go to Walani last summer. Go we check out our her backlog. There you go. <laughs> okay. The next one is probably my, the one that I like second place, my second place. So again, it's that that kind of cool color, right? I, I don't know it's if It's like a burnt cool. orange. Okay. It's an interesting color, but when you see the actual design, you understand it's an Adventureland shirt. She has a line of all the different like lands, basically. Oh, the lands. So yeah. what, what are all the different icons? So you've I got, see, you've got that... the Jungle Cruise, you've got the Dole Whip, you've got the Pirates right there. This is like the Swiss Tarzan family. Treehouse. I think Swiss it's a, well, yeah, but I think this is, oh, and then there's a Tiki. I, can, I don't know if it's Disney, cause she's kind of a Disneyland gal. So I don't know if this is considered Disneyland or Walt Disney. It could be either though. It could be the Tarzan or it could be Swiss Family. So. But I like all the hidden details. So the, do the other park ones have um, like I, To be honest, nods? I didn't, I, yeah, okay. I, I guess, I would assume. I, I haven't really looked at the other designs in okay. that set. So we don't know what we're sure. looking at. <laughs> okay, this one's the most fun. Do okay. you want to talk about this one? I, I guess, yeah. Do you want to talk about it? Okay, yeah. I'm going to show you. This is still my shirt. It's but, still her but shirt. But maybe someday you'll use it too. Because it's this, really, it's great. It's this cream color. But <laughs> it is it is the New York skyline uh, from Avengers because there's Avengers Tower. And... I think this is a cool nod to the Avengers campus. Oh. I think this would be super cute. I've been... We've been, literally been talking about this, mm -hmm. that I need something to wear to Avengers Campus because I feel like I feel like maybe Disneyland might be like a once a year or trip for us. I think we've summers. kind of decided that like yep. summer is a good time to go. Yep. So if that's the case, I need something to wear to Avengers Campus. So this is actually kind of worked out perfectly. Beautiful. It's low key. We love it. We love it. We love that for you, us. If you like these shirts, Alyssa, where can they go? <laughs> they can go to Darlene Dream Co. Okay. And she has a website and she also has an Instagram and she like does launches and stuff all the time. So yeah, I just went to town and bought a bunch of Disney shirts. I don't typically do that for myself. So no, she doesn't. So I was like, go off. <laughs> so this next package is from a Facebook group. It's called Discount Disney Pin Trading. There is the QR code if you want to hit that up. So Alyssa. I, I really, I really am going to regret giving you guys this information though. Why? Because <laughs> I feel uh, like pins might go faster than now, what, normal if more people know about her. What makes this, like, were these exceptionally, like, affordable or? Yes. So the cool thing is, I don't know how she gets the pins, right? Okay. I'm assuming she's got people that, I don't know how it all works, right? But she gets not only older pins, but also like new pin boxes, mystery pin boxes, and new like open edition pins. Okay. She gets them for much cheaper, or she even sells them. Okay, so for example, I think the cheapest open edition pin you can buy at Disney World right now is either $10 or $12. It might be $12 yeah. I'll take your word for it. So, all of these pins okay. I purchased for six fifty a piece, okay. which is better than our twenty percent off discount if we were to purchase it in the parks. So, so. if if you have like a current like color uh, matchy thingy, may, maybe we'll yeah. I'm not exactly maybe sure. Maybe we'll do some math because right. this this pin is a pink. So this and pin is Iron Man. It's part of that hundredth edition, hundred years. Yeah. Uh, but I kind of liked it because the red and silver. She had a ton of Disney 100 pins. Okay. And that's the one that you chose. You decided to choose that one. Also, I love Iron Man, so I supported it. So the next open edition pin I have been eyeing at the parks for literally so long. Okay. Every single time I see this pin, I'm like, 
Garrett, we need this pen. And we don't also don't even have a huge Frozen collection, but well, I, I just think it's so And it's cute. got the girls. It's obviously from Frozen 2. And this right. is a yellow for color, and I don't know what that is for price yeah. um, right now. We will, we will figure out the pricing guide, but I just love baby Anna and Elsa. <laughs> I love, I really do love Frozen. We just, it's just not like a huge collection for us, but. Yeah. You know, so I, I actually, one of my favorite parts of Frozen is uh, this little bit of wisdom that you pick up pretty early in the movie and it's reindeers are better than people. <laughs> and this is from that scene with Kristoff and Sven and he's singing to them and I- my, They were right next to each other on the pin boards. So I was like, I have to get them together <laughs> because we also love Kristoff. Christ What's that? and Sven. What's that line in G? He's like, so who's the reindeer? Or the, <laughs> I forget what, what. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. I know what you're talking about. The smelly one. And he's like, so who's the reindeer? <laughs> this next one is also like a much newer open edition uh, Winnie the Pooh pin, okay. which uh, to be honest, we haven't purchased any of the newer pins because I just figure, I don't know, at some point we would acquire them. Like well, it's not like a, like we could just pick them up whenever, right? Well, it's not like a limited edition or anything. And I'm, I wouldn't, I don't like buying open edition at the parks because they're kind of expensive. So like this is yeah. kind of fun to like so, round out collections. Yeah, like I've loved this pin since it came out. I didn't want to spend the whatever it is. It's a silver. I don't know what that means. But for six fifty, it's a nice size pin too. I'm like, we're doing it. So it's a silly old bag. And these silly these and these open edition ones uh, usually have some pretty good detail. I kind of mm -hmm. like them because they put a They're little bit more quality. time into it. It's still a Disney pen, yeah. And so the last pin uh, that we have that we can see is mm -hmm. a little open edition of Russell and Doug and they're throwing the ball. And what I'm talking about details is like, you can see every single one of Russell's badges and like you can really see the folds in his, his kerchief. Yeah, yeah. So they're just good quality. And we have a very large up collection. I think that's yeah. like one of our biggest, besides Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh and up are our biggest pin collections. So. Uh, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> uh, so this was. Oh, she also included some stickers, which I did not pay for, but that was <laughs> adorable. And so the last little thing that we got is uh, a, is how many, oh, is this a, that's oh, a this is a five pack. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are sweet. So this is a five I pack. I haven't opened a bag like that no. in so long. This is a five pack of pins. And um, it's part of the Sweet Dreams collection. And there's a whole like whack ton of uh, characters back there. I don't, I don't I even know. I think they're all animals, obviously. Well, yeah, they're all animals and they're all just cut, like tucked in perfectly well. We have never opened these pins before. And I should mention the retail price is $40. Aye. I spent 25 which is still like- And you get five pins. You get five pins and still that's better than our, I, I tried to justify that it's better than our annual pass discount. So <laughs> I feel like it's a win-win. So now, we're gonna open this right now because I'm dying to know what's inside. Okay, so these are not in blind bags. They're not They're blind bags? They're just floating okay. around in the bag. I didn't even look to see what the options oh. are. Like who would I uh, want? There is the, the skunk from Bambi and Pluto on this and Pooh. Oh. Who's sleeping? And there's also the Aristocats. There's Figaro. There's Lady. You should okay, pull and see who you ones. got. Okay. I'm pulling the first one. And I got. Oh, these oh, are your people. Yeah, Bert. Um, um, oh my gosh. They're, they're rescuers the rescuers. Down under. Oh, Bernard. Bernard and what's the I forget what's the her other name. One? Anita. Maybe. I'm that's, gonna be wrong. That sounds no. I'm gonna be wrong. No, Anita is from. Uh, that's Perdita. Oh. Maybe yeah, it is Perdita. Anita. No, I don't isn't know. Anita the mom of? Is Anita the mom in Hundred One Dalmatians? No, I don't know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But these are the people, and it's Bernard and and the the girl. It's probably not one of the ones that I would have wanted. No, but, but I, I I feel like I have a little collection of that. Yeah. Oh, it's a, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh. It's a little tiny Figaro. I mean. And oh, I like I how he's asleep on the little, um, like it's all stitched together. Yeah, it's like a quilt or something. Jeez. Okay, I like that one. That we're gonna cute. we're gonna keep that one. Okay, let's see what we get next. This is fun. I forget about. I forgot <laughs> forgot how fun pins are. We got Dumbo. Now, how is Dumbo supposed to be like like this, um, or is he sleeping on a is Dumbo? He, is like sleeping on a branch of some sort, kind of like this. Okay, isn't he sleeping on a branch? Yeah, he's like kind of slouched over. Okay. He's like, cute. Like that. 
He's cute. To be honest, I literally, I think I just got rid of almost my entire Dumbo collection. We sold all, almost yeah, all of we our did. Dumbo pens. So I don't know if I'll keep this one. This one might go in a sale at some point. We're gonna do whatnot sales probably starting in January. We have yeah. pins to sell and all that, so we'll probably- Hey, some point. and if you come to a whatnot sale in January, chances of a tornado, very small. <laughs> If you, know, if you know, you, you know. know. If you know, put a put a little put put a little like tornado uh, tornado emoji. emoji. <laughs> yes. Oh, cute. Okay, so our our the penultimate oh. pin is a little sleeping Simba. That one's cute. That is cute. Like and and one. you know, I, I love it because Simba's a little a little boy, and we have our little boy. Okay, I'm going to shoot for either nope. Marie, nope, you're not gonna Lady, nope. Owl, nope. or Tramp. Nope. There's four. And you got, I got okay. Owl. Okay. Hey, this is kind of a cute series. Owl is actually really funny to have because there's just not a lot of owl pins out there. I feel and like- And this one, he's literally sleeping in his rocking chair. Like I, that is so owl. I am, I'm feeling those vibes to be 100% honest. This like, is definitely gonna be a keeper. I think, I think this is a cool pin to have from the series. I think if I it's watched fun. more Winnie the Pooh, I would be more into owl. Well, yeah, you're very much like owl. You have a lot of the same character traits as owl. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> um, that was fun. I would definitely fun. try and uh, trade for more of those. Um, yeah, or if she has another sale, that would be like, see, when you just when you spend like forty dollars on it, it's like, mm, like that's a lot of money for a mystery. But when it's a little bit of a discount, and like we'll be able to trade, yeah, we can trade. Oh, you bought some other stuff, but it wasn't small shop. Oh yeah, should we add these into the video? Yeah, let's do that's it. That's fine. So I randomly oh, did, a, did a very small order from Box Lunch. This is probably a few months ago. At this because point. you had Box, oh, here's what it was. Here was the conversation. Garrett, I have some Box Lunch money that I have to spend. And I was like, oh, you have to spend it? She's like, yes, I don't want to lose it. And I'm like, okay, honey. I spent most of it on. <laughs> You and you know I'm right. You know that was the exact conversation. I spent most of it on mystery pin boxes, which is fine because that's part of the content that we put out on this channel. So you gotta make, fine. you gotta spend money to make money, friends. Anyways, the other thing, this was like on super sale or something, and I thought it was super cute. It's an Indiana Jones T-shirt for James, and on the back it even has. Oh, that's cute. The map. How fun is How, that? What size is I, that? This is a two T. So it would literally fit him like right now. I kind of forgot about it. So he needs to wear it on our next trip. <laughs> I thought this would be cute for Hollywood Studios though. I I saw whispers that Dinosaur was going to be turned into Indiana Jones or so, or, or that was confirmed. It needs, it needs to and be. And I'm it super. Needs, if it's not confirmed yet, it's going to be I'm confirmed. pumped because that might, I, I would assume that would be almost like a combination of all of the Indiana Jones universes or movies put into one. Or do you think it would just be the Indiana Jones at Disneyland? Because it's the mm -mm. same track. Question. <laughs> Is the layout different of Dinosaur and Indiana Jones and Disneyland? Or is it the same ride system? There's a difference. Anyways, the other item that All she bought- All the questions bought we have. <laughs> are some pins because, excuse me. The other thing that she bought was some pens. Uh, so these are pens uh, that have Pooh Bear, Winnie the Pooh, and Piglet. And, and you know what they do? They click. I should also tell you that those are a mystery too. I think they're only like two dollars a piece. And, and they were a mystery. Man, and hold on. That's Pooh and Piglet. So I think that's a win. Uh oh, they're, the, yeah. They're probably gonna be not the best quality pens, but it's fine. You know, I wish we're this. Fine with it. I wish this clipped because this would be a cute little uh, like bookmark. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. I was so just... if you want, if you if you'd like to see more content, probably better than this. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Uh, check us out on Instagram as well at the Leffersons. All uh, of our Walt Disney World Christmas vlogs yeah. just came out. That's why we haven't been filming because we've had so much backlog of vlogs that we needed to put up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Our goal, yeah. So uh, make sure that you are, we're gonna try and get a little bit more consistent in 24 as we settle into the house and everything. Yeah. So make sure you're subscribed and- And um, if you've made it this long also, like is there anything that you wanna see for yeah. us in 2024? Maybe mm -hmm. we should ask that in a different vlog, but if you're here, I mean right now- Start, just, start, start working start on it. Start thinking about like, that. Like, like I'm gonna throw anything... some stuff out there, like memberships, like what would we do for those? What else, like what mm -hmm. else could we do? Cause I think if we did memberships, maybe we'd do some lives. I don't yeah. know, you guys would wanna, you guys need to let me know what you'd want 
work. Again, we did this, is, this is a collaborative process. We are a community. Do you guys want to see more unboxings? Do you want to see, like, do you want Magic Mail to come back? Do you want. The only thing that we will not vlogs? do is, like, shorts. Nah, it's too much work. Yeah, it's just, like, a lot. Do you want a podcast? Do you want a podcast? Oh, that would be big time commitment. Maybe. If you want a podcast, podcast down below. How many times has Garrett ever said podcast in a vlog, hoping that people are going to be like, please put a podcast? Same as many and times as like, I've talked about a 3D printer, hoping that someone, somewhere, Bamboo Lab, anybody would would reach out with a 3D printer. And if anyone knows anyone, I, 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 guys, I could make some really solid 3D printing content, honey. Like, you guys would love it. Because it's about you. It's not about me. It's very passionate about I am, this. I am. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, that's all. I think we've rambled out enough, yeah. but thank you guys so much for sitting here for the last 20-ish minutes. We're not really sure how long this video is, but so. thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and yeah. leave a comment down below and let us know like <laughs> anything. I don't know. Just like tell us how is life. Like, we've we've asked you a lot to comment. Uh, yeah. So, so just, just do a comment. All right, okay? Just do it. You know how you tell me when I don't know when to stop. Um, here we go. We Bye, love guys. you guys. See you later. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> if I don't stop her, she's going to be like, all right, so.